Hi everyone, with Hashem's help, you are listening to another edition of Paleo Etz. And if you would like to sponsor a share for the Lui Nishmat of a loved one who has gone back to be with Hashem, or for the Behatzlacha of yourself or a loved one, uh, please send me an email at gimeldalit777 at gmail, and I'll send over some information on how you can do that. And today's topic, the plague. I got to tell you, when I first got introduced to the Paleoettes, I never in my wildest dream thought that I would be reading this chapter in an actual play. So it's just really crazy. I mean, you know, even when we went through uh, Pesach this year, it was, uh, you know, kind of ironic that we were in the middle of a pandemic as uh, as we were talking about all the plagues. very interesting time we're in, if you haven't noticed. So let's see what the Rav has to say and what advice he can give um, during the times of a plague. And it says our sages in Baba Kama 60b said, if there is a plague in the city, gather in your feet, meaning don't go outside of your home or escape from the city in the beginning of the plague. The practice in European cities to be very vigilant and establish strict safeguards to avoid the spread of the plague is very good. However, It is not good to live in those same cities for a different reason associated with this manner. If Hasfa Shalom, it happens that a person is attacked by Midat Hadin, which is the divine attribute of strict justice, and is stricken with the disease, due to the policy of vigilance, they will put him to death in a bizarre way before his time, burn his body, and not allow it to be buried. So when it's talking about you know, when there's times of a magafa, that you should not, like, get out of Dodge, right? And in our case, in this current situation, there was nowhere where you can go. So, you know, what do you do in that instance? So let's see what the Rav has to say about that. So in this regard, it's better to reside in the Muslim countries where they attempt to heal a person and honor him in his death by people who are designated for this purpose. In any case, there's an obligation on every man to aggressively safeguard his health in every way available to him. It says, Behold, it is written in Mishlei 22.3, The wise men saw evil and hid. The fools trespassed and were punished. And the Zohar HaKadosh in Halik 1 Daf 89 explains that a person is worthy of punishment and forfeiting his life for just not hiding himself for danger. Um, so, and of course, you know, the sages have said, they literally said go inside your homes and like lock yourself in and of course that is exactly what we see in this current pandemic um you know with these lockdown orders uh they they've been a little difficult in the fact that um in the fact that there was really nowhere to hide it wasn't like you can get out of europe to come to america or come to you know leave america to go to israel um there really was no safe place and so, you know, Hasfa Shalom, I, I hope that, you know, we are getting the point that even though Hashem is, is you know, allowing this time of strict judgment to fall upon us, um, that he is also showing a lot of mercy. Um, and you can see this in the kind of recovery rate that we see uh, with the people who are afflicted by the um, pandemic that's currently out there. So it says, uh, the primary protection from the plague is the giving of charity to the poor. Money will have no value and the rich will give a fortune to sustain the poor. This will be the ransom of their soul so that no misfortune will befall them and no plague will enter their, do- their dwelling place. And um, I, I got to tell you, like we've heard this advice before about giving tzedakah, that tzedakah saves your life. And so here we hear it again. In the time of a magafa. It's time to give tzedakah. You should be, you should really, I mean, at, at any time, whether there's a plague or there's not a plague, you really should be supporting Torah and the spreading of Torah. And for those that you really gravitate and learn from, you should be helping to support. Um, and so this way, you know, the Torah can continue to, you know, go around the world. So it says, a person should pray daily in advance of any trouble and perform all of the mystical rituals that are written in the ho- in the holy books. Specific order of study and especially the recitation of Bitum HaKatorit regarding the preparation of the incense with devotion until God will look beneficently upon him and grant him p- 
peace and tranquility in the land of the living. Um, so Pitam HaKatort, you know, there is the one that you see in the Sefer Torah. And then there is a, a there's actually another version that's brought down in the books uh, for exactly the time of the pandemics. Um, but the, you know, Pitam HaKatort is very good. And if you have the proper kavana, it is said that it will protect you um, throughout that day from, you know, from any hasva shalom, any kind of weird death um, that will bring you success. And that, um, you know, also from people who are trying to scheme against you. So really important. It, it seems like, you know, sometimes it seems like these, these little, ran- it seems like random paragraphs, right? And in, in these, these, you know, daily prayers, you know, the sages are putting them there for a reason. And, you know, if you don't understand the reason, I would say just do it. And I promise you that God, if you're looking for the answer, he will give it to you. And he'll give you the reason why that these things are important to say and to do. Um, but we should all pray that everyone in the world, um, you know, arouses the the rachamin, the mercy of Hashem. That we should get through this. And, you know, I, I would imagine that we are going to come out on the other side, perhaps with a new normal. Uh, whatever that is Um, but in the interim that where you can help help and every act of kindness you do makes a difference for all of the world whether you're Jewish or you're not Jewish it makes a difference so that's it for today and I hope we'll all be together again soon if you've enjoyed this video or know someone who would please share it